Colon cancer symptoms can be really hard to detect. The reason for this is that they're actually very consistent with IBS symptoms. You guys know all about my IBS symptoms. I talk about it a lot, how I manage my IBS. But I'm ready to talk about my pre-colon cancer diagnosis at 29. I had a change in my bowel habits when I was 25, and I had no idea what was going on. The symptoms were really embarrassing, and it took me an entire year before I actually talked to my doctor about it because I couldn't even say what was going on. I had really, really bad diarrhea. At times, I had constipation. I was dealing with incomplete evacuation. My stool texture had completely changed. I was bloated all the time. I was dealing with acid reflux. There were noticeable changes in the shape, color, and texture of my stool. My stool was much thinner and more narrow than it ever had been before. And I was dealing with blood in my stool as well. Needless to say, I was not shouting this from the rooftops because I just wanted it to go away. I saw numerous doctors. I talk a lot about this. None of them would give me a colonoscopy because I was too young. At 29, I put in writing to a doctor through my chart, these are my symptoms. I have every single symptom of colorectal cancer. Why will you not give me a colonoscopy? Always put stuff in writing because then the doctors are liable. The doctor agreed. At 29, I had a colonoscopy and my doctor was shocked when he talked to me after the procedure. I had a 34 millimeter polyp, which is unheard of for somebody my age. He said that most people, when they have colonoscopies at 80, they don't even have that size of a polyp. They did further testing and found out that it was precancerous. My doctor was beside himself and he said that if I hadn't gone in for the colonoscopy, I would have had full-blown colon cancer within five years. The following year, I went in for another colonoscopy and I had another enormous polyp removed. So at 29, I had one, at 30, I had one, and then at 31, they removed a few polyps but they were not enormous, so I was able to wait another five years. I'm 33 now, so I haven't had my fourth quite yet. The moral of the story is get a colonoscopy. They are not that bad. They will save your life. I felt nothing having the polyp removed. They had to put in a stint and I couldn't chew for like five days, but compared to not going through chemotherapy or radiation, I will take that any day of the week. So many people come on my lives and say, I don't want to talk to my doctor about my symptoms. I don't know how to talk to my doctor about this. You can do it. Like, I am telling you, a colonoscopy is not a big deal. Telling your doctor, I'm bleeding when I'm going to the bathroom. You know, all that stuff, it's so worth it. If I can talk about it on a live in front of thousands of people, you can talk about it one-on-one -on -one with your doctor behind a closed door. Please, for me, just get the colonoscopy, get that weight off your chest. Most people get the colonoscopy and they're fine. I talk a lot about my liver health, my gallbladder health, because I had an enlarged liver. I had to lose 25 pounds throughout my health journey. I have IBS. I had pre-colon cancer. Like I talk a lot about lifestyle and diet and how I was able to change my life through these lifestyle changes. So follow along. I post a lot of recipes. I have a lot of fun here. I kind of make fun of IBS because we have to. You have to laugh about it. This stuff is like, and it's kind of funny. Not the colon cancer part, but you know, we just need to be diligent. Stay on top of it. Get the colonoscopy. It saves your life. What questions do you have for me? I am an open book and I just want to help you get better. So put them in the comment section and I will come out with a part two soon.